Sky. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Uh, almost everybody is uh, is uh, getting fit. Uh, only uh, Corner Wickham and uh, Wilfried uh, Saha are still uh, injured. Uh, of course, uh, Mamadou Sako is an, uh, is fit, but not uh, game fit. But uh, he's looking good. He worked very hard uh, this week, and uh, probably going to play uh, Monday with uh, under 23. His first uh, 35 minutes. So. Uh, it's looking good. Um, so the rest we have to just, uh, wait for for tomorrow. But uh, like Ruben Loftusik, uh, uh, Tomkins, uh, they, and also uh, Sulai Kaika, they're probably all available for Sunday. With Man Sacco from taking on board, what you said about him not being match fit, from what you've seen on the training ground. Delighted to have him yeah, very delighted. You know, uh, from the start, uh, he was yeah, one of our, our targets uh, to get uh, to Crystal Palace. Uh, it's it's a pity that it's you know on, on the last day. Of course, uh, as a manager, you want uh, your team as quickly as possible uh, yeah, together. Uh, as, yeah, when it can be done on, on the first day when you, when you start, but you know it's not uh, like that always and. But uh, yeah, he's looking good. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he is very eager, you know, to, to come here to, to show, and he's already a very good influence uh, in, in the dressing room or on the grass when he's uh, training already uh, with the, with the team. So uh, yeah, I'm very delighted that he's here, and you, you see already what impact he has now already with his uh, positivism and everything. And, uh, yeah, so I'm very pleased that he's here. You mentioned there that the transfer deadline day, that's not going to go away, but it is going to change the day before the season starts. The club, Crystal Palace, are one of five teams that vote against that. What, what's, what's your view on that? that? That hasn't been confirmed. That was what's been reported. We haven't confirmed that. Right. It's been reported that no. one of five teams that vote against it. I think, you know, you can see it both sides. Uh, in one time, uh, as a manager normally, uh, if you look in the eyes of the manager, what I already said, you know, if you're from day one when you start your preseason and you have the whole squad together, yeah, that, that's the ideal situation because then you know, hey, uh, with this team, I'm, I'm kind of build up, you know, where I want to go uh, for the first game uh, of the season. But if you, for example, have injuries or or you get uh, for the club, you know, you need somebody. Yeah, then it's of course uh, one month or one half month later, it's better for you. But for, I think in the point of view as, as a manager, uh, yeah, you want the team that you want to work the whole season with. You want to from day day one, and not suddenly where one of your best players are, you know, is picked from yeah, a big club like uh, like City or, or some uh, somewhere else. So that's. That's normally uh, the problem as a manager, as a club, you know, you have other objectives, of course. So if, if we can assume that what everyone reporting is correct, that Crystal Palace were one of the teams that voted against it, were, were you consulted about that vote? Were you, were you asked what you prefer out of the two options? No, but I know everybody knows what I prefer, but uh, I, it's, you know, I'm... I'm a manager, and you know, the, of course, when I'm managing uh, Crystal Palace, uh, uh, the most important thing is uh, Crystal Palace. But at the end, you know, the, the club has to decide because it's not uh, for the short term; it's for the long term. Um, Steve Parish, um, on your start, I'm sure you've heard it <coughs> written indirectly, but the direct quote that he gave was that it's not been great. It's a results business. So if you don't get wins, Frank knows that. Uh, we've got to look at how we can, uh, we've been performing and how we've been playing, what we can do to improve. So we'll be working hard and having serious conversations to make sure we turn it around. Can I get your reaction to that? No, first of all, I have always a uh, serious uh, conversation uh, with Steve. Uh, normally we are scheduled always for uh, one week, you know, uh, one day in the week to to come together and sit, you know, what's happening at the, at the club and how we, uh, what's going on and, and how we can improve, of course. And uh, we did it also, you know, after every game, so also after uh, Swansea. 
you know, I, I'm not so concerned, you know, about it. I think we have a very good uh, relationship. We know what, what we want, and everybody is, of course, very disappointing in, in our result. But we know also this is not uh, a one-day project. No, it's from the long term, and uh, so that everybody knows. Uh, you cannot expect suddenly uh, that we uh, gonna win every game. Of course, uh, you, if you calculate, okay, you see the schedule. Then normally uh, everybody has calculated that you at least have to have four points at minimum, of course. But it's not the case. But still, uh, yeah, it's work in progress still. And uh, I'm convinced. I'm now uh, like 30 years in professional football. Uh, sometimes it takes more time, and, uh, and we're gonna do everything uh, in our. Uh, the possibility to, to change it around. Uh, I have a very good positive feeling, you know, what uh, what we saw yeah, this one half week when everybody uh, was together, the training. Of course, there were some players uh, have their international games, of course, but still the, m the majority of our uh, squad was here. And uh, we had some very good training sessions, very positive vibe in, in the team. So I I'm very positive for the future. Given the pedigree that you spoke about, You know, it always uh, takes time, and you know, uh, you don't have to to panic suddenly. And uh, again, you know, everybody wants the point, but uh, you have to also know what's going on here. And uh, we think we are doing uh, the right way. Steve knows that, uh, the board knows that, and uh, we're not getting sentimental or something like that. No, we just uh, continue where we believe in, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Is it too simplistic to want some people in the right team that can say that you haven't really got the type of players here to play the way you want to play? Yeah, but uh, the problem is that everybody thinks that I play the way I always played, and that's totally uh, wrong. Uh, for example, everybody say yeah, you play 3 4 3, but if you see. Uh, the players that I put into the squad, uh, our wing backs were normally defenders. So, Van Arnold and, and Joe uh, Ward. So, normally you can say, I played 5 2 3. Uh, but if everybody says it's 3 4 3, then, then you think it's very offensive. But if you say it's 5 2 3, then it's very defensive. So, I th I, we looked very. Uh, very careful to our squad, and uh, in our point of view, this was the best, uh, you know, uh, for for the team. For example, Wilfried Saha uh, playing more up front than than he normally does when he has to yeah, run uh, back with his full back. So uh, I think it was a very legitimate uh, to to play this system, and it uh, and also a lot of people say, yeah, they don't understand the way of playing. We played very directly. Uh, we didn't play. Uh, uh, played from the back. We, a lot of times, uh, Wayne Hennessy played very long balls or our defenders. So it was really a, a really different style that I normally played. And that was all because uh, th for the quality that we have in uh, our team. So uh, it wasn't that different than, uh, than they did before. Have you been told at all that the, the game on Sunday against Burnley is, is crucial in terms of your survival? No, what I already said. Uh, I spoke to Steve, and we know uh, what we are going to do. And of course, everybody uh, wants to get uh, results, and I want results, but also uh, want to see the performance uh, getting up. You know how we want to play, and I'm always convinced. And at Ajax, I never spoke about championships or something like. That. Of course, everybody knows when you're a uh, manager for Ajax, you have to be champions. But I never spoke with the group about champions. I always spoke about hey, how we gonna, how we want to play, and how we gonna do that. And if we do that the right way, the chance that you're gonna be champions at the end, that's uh, that's the uh, that gives you more possibility to be champions. And it's the same uh, here. We want, of course, every day game we want to have points, but. Also, we have to look uh, how the performance is, how we want to play, and I'm convinced if we're progressing in, in what we do, we, uh, the points will come uh, eventually. Uh, the sooner the better, because 
points, uh, victories, will help, help you to get confidence and, and to make that step uh, forward. You were a great player and a very successful head coach. But with no experience in the Premier League, has the Premier League surprised you? No, because I, I watched always uh, the Premier League. Uh, that's the good thing, you know, you can see every game also in Holland. And I have a lot of friends uh, who worked in the, in the Premier League or still working in the Premier League. So I, I know how it works. I have uh, a very good staff who have the experience uh, to be in the Premier League. Uh, so I'm not surprised. And, uh, and I'm, I'm very privileged uh, to be here, to be uh, in, in the, uh, the greatest league of, of the world. And, uh, but not surprised. We know that every game is tough. And, uh, and that every, the players knows that, and that's why we have to work very hard together. Last question. You, you say every game is tough, and, that, and that's true. You've got Burnley and then Southampton. And after that, back to back City, Easy game, United, yeah. Chelsea. So it's vital you get something out the next few games. Now, of course, it, what I said, you know, you, you're calculating always. And, uh, but we have to have the confidence. Uh, and I think uh, Mamadou Sako already said, you know. If you have the confidence and really the belief, then you get also uh, you getting you go into the game also against Chelsea or uh, against Manchester United or City. That hey, we're gonna get a good result here, and so not only against Southampton and um, and Burnley, but also the, the other teams. And if we are uh, working together hard, then we can make it every uh, team very difficult, and then we get our results. Thank you. Kind Ian. Uh, how have you handled the speculation about your future over the last two years? Uh, no, I'm always uh, aware that there is always pressure, you know, when the results are not there uh, as a player, as a manager. So what I already said, I'm 30 years in, in football. There were always, uh, I played with clubs that are always, uh, the pressure is high when you don't get the uh, results. And so the only thing that I always do, and I think that's one of my, uh, my qualities, you know, don't uh, get involved in, uh, in sentimental things or emotional things. No, just concentrate on the things that you really have uh, effect on. And that's, you know, mm -hmm. here on training on the grass with the players, talking to the players, and how we can uh, change the situation as soon as possible. One manager once told me that the first day he got the job was the first day he was nearer. <laughs> is, is it an occupational hazard? I mean no, I, 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 you know, you can see if the, the glass is half full or half empty. I think uh, I always look at it as half full, and uh, I'm looking for always to the positive way. Uh, you know, I want to, if I leave, I want to leave to the front door and not to the back door, and uh, that they always uh, can say afterwards uh, he did, you know, everything in his possibility. Uh, uh, possibility to to give uh, always 100% and I will do that and uh, I think uh, if the, uh, I do that then <laughs> I will show the quality that I have with uh, our staff. Of course you're the newest manager in the Premier League, we were with the, I was with the oldest one <coughs> yesterday, Arsene Wenger, and he said he would never change his football principles, you know, he wouldn't just go for an ugly win and kick the ball into Rose Lips just to get a victory, to ease the pressure on him. If you go into Burnley on Sunday saying, look, whether we win or lose, whether I stay on or whether I get fired, I want to do it my way. I, I always do it my way uh, because uh, at the end I'm responsible. So if it's not working, then I'm responsible. If it's working, I also I'm responsible. And at the end, when it's not working and somebody else brought you up uh, an idea or he pre presses you to, to do that, you know, that's not a healthy situation. So I always uh, do it my way. And But I'm not naive, I just look uh, what the qualities of my squad is. And <laughs> the quality of uh, Arsenal normally is higher than, uh, than, than uh, Crystal Palace, but we can uh, compare that with a lot of energy uh, and yeah, choose the right uh, system to do that. And it's something about baby steps, first goal, let's go for first point. You know, uh, everything helps, you know, to get the, the confidence, a first goal uh, <coughs> for, for the team. Also, a uh, clean sheet or uh, or first win, and uh, of course we we're gonna do that. But again, points are very very uh, important right now for the confidence. But also, you know how we perform. Uh, I played games that 
uh, sometimes I think, how could I lose this game? But the performance was fantastic. And, you know, uh, then you can say, okay, yeah, uh, again a loss, but then you were already said, then you think, hey, this is the, the Crystal Palace that I want to see. And if we continue like that, the points will follow. And uh, so this balance we always have to have. And of course, points uh, will help, goals will help uh, to get the confidence uh, back uh, in the team. And what I saw uh, this week, uh, this uh, last two weeks with the, in training, I think uh, the players have a lot of confidence in, in a good result, uh, also starting this Sunday against Burnley. Great, thank you. Hi. Um, Hi. Um, what do you get to play in the game away from Manchester Palace uh, today? Um, how much more realistic is it? Do you think that's going in the future? Uh, normally, you have uh, like 10 games that you really think, hey, this is, you know, uh, the way we, we really want to play. We had only like four uh, pre-season matches. It was already scheduled before I came. And uh, were three friendly game, uh, three uh, Premier League games, and uh, one uh, cup game. So we didn't have that. Uh, we still are at seven or eight games. So I think still uh, we can uh, yeah, improve a lot in how we want uh, to play. And of course, again, you know, uh, when you Analyze all the games, the three games that we uh, that we lost. Uh, everybody said we had a good performance against Liverpool, for example. Uh, we played very uh, uh, tight together. Uh, we didn't give many chances away. We, we could have won uh, at the end. Uh, at the end, unfortunately, we we lost. Uh, Swansea had like two and a half shots on goal. We had like eight or nine, and we did didn't make uh, one goal. So. And we conceded it too. So there, uh, the the points were very negative, but there were also some uh, positive things, and uh, you know that I'm always focusing on. And uh, the the stupid mistakes have to, you know, we have to get rid of, of course, and uh, don't give easy goals away. But uh, I'm convinced that uh, every week we're gonna be uh, better and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, yeah, we're going to see uh, already the results on, uh, on Sunday. Um, Burnley have had a, a recent start to the season. How can you set it out to, to, to take the three points from this? No, first of all, uh, we know that Burnley uh, is a team, you know, can uh, play uh, yeah, two types of football. If you give them time, they can really you know, play football on the ground. If not, uh, they always have the option to focus, to you know, to, to get uh, in duels, to get to in second balls and uh, to get in the challenge. So uh, they're doing very well. Uh, and But still, I think, you know, if we are concentrated, we have a good uh, possibility to get a good result. Of course, you're going to an analyze always, uh, you know, uh, our performance. And um, uh, of course, when the results are disappointing, uh, you're going to try to get uh, that turned around. And uh, if it's that uh, with 5-3-2 uh, or 3-4-3 three, three, or 4-3-3, three, three, uh, at the end, you know, the players have to execute it. And, uh, if they uh, have the feeling, and I have also the feel, the same feeling. At the end, I, I'm deciding, uh, of course. But uh, of course, you have to have also uh, uh, yeah, the feeling of, of the players, how they are feeling about it. And uh, so we're going to see that uh, on Sunday. But uh, I'm convinced that what kind of system uh, we play, uh, they're going to understand it, uh, how we want to approach every game. Thank you, Stan. Yes. Because from what I saw when we had Lukaku and Sims is pulling out a miracle, oh, how would you expect him to be fully back in the team at that club? Uh, it was, of course, very uh, long out uh, period, but still, uh, I'm f yeah, I have to give a compliment uh, to himself, of course, but also to the medical staff, uh, you know, because you said already it was a terrible accident. 
and if you see him now running uh, and playing, you don't see anything. So uh, that's in his favor, of course, and uh, yeah, and also for us, because yeah, he can be a very good player for us. And right now we played uh, already 60 minutes or 60 or 70 minutes the last uh, game, and you know we have to continue to play like two or three times 90 minutes, and from there on he can uh, you know uh, come back in, into the team. And uh, I'm very happy uh, for him, very happy for the club. And so uh, he's very close to. He's already training with, uh, with the first uh, squad, and uh, yeah, it's just time. Uh, you don't want to rush things because, yeah, if suddenly you know uh, the under 23 is a yeah, different level, of course, than than the Premier League. But uh, we're taking uh, very good care of him, and he's taking care good care of himself. And uh, so hopefully, in the near future, we can uh, use him again. Thank you, John. Oh, thank you, Frank. Um, can I just get some thoughts on? Sterling's recent good form against sides from the capital. Uh, they beat Palace at the end of last season for their first away win. Beat the Chelsea or any of Spurs. What do you make of them so far? Uh, what I said, they're very good organised. Uh, they know uh, the, the, yeah, the, the plan. Uh, they don't make it that difficult when they can. And uh, normally, uh, folks is a very good target man, uh, and, and players are around them. You know exactly uh, know what uh, to do at that moment. And uh, so they had a great result, of course, against uh, Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Of course, they were with ten men down, but still, you know, see a lot of teams struggling when they are playing against uh, 10 men. So, uh, yeah, they are, they're looking very good and they're a very hard team to beat. They uh, showed it also uh, last season. And um, uh, But still, I think uh, we have a good possibility to get a result there. OK, Rob, one here. Please. Hi, Frank. Um, Hi. When you're going for a tough time as a manager or when results are going against you, is there anyone that you speak to for advice, be it a former mm-hmm. player, be it a former teammate, a former manager of yours? Or do you very much stick to your own principles? No, I always stick to my own principles. But still, you know, I'm, I'm talking to uh, everybody, uh, uh, from the chairman to to uh, the kid men or to uh, to the players, and so uh, especially pl- people around uh, this place because they are normally uh, were uh, much more in this case, case kind of situation. So. Uh, that's why you, you speak to those uh, people who think, hey, they already uh, have experienced uh, this. But still, I, what I already said, uh, we had a plan, and it's not that suddenly we're going to make a 360 degrees turn and go the other way. No, uh, maybe a small step to the left or a small step to the right, but still we have our uh, own goal, and that's where, where we want to go. Okay, that's the end of the broadcast section. Thank Thank you. you.